Yes, it is true. I'm ashamed. I haven't posted a video in a very long time. You know whose fault that is? Obviously mine. I have a surprise for you. But you're going to have to wait until the end of the video. And it's worth it. Let me tell you, it's a, it's a side of myself you've never seen before. But you'll have to wait. I've got more things to say. Is thank you to my fellow supporters, <clears throat> past, present, and future. I really do. Um, I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful for your support and your faith in my abilities, and I will continue to be thankful as we move forward into a brand new year, which is why I am making this video. This is a vlog for 2011, putting it out there, telling everybody, telling the universe exactly what I want. A few things I need to address in the past, though. For instance, on natural history, which was one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. I've never worked so hard in my entire life. I've never been challenged so much in my entire life. But the highest of highs came from that job and, and built so much confidence in myself. And a big shout out to the cast. A huge thank you to Mike Werb, our creator for <laughs> giving me the ability to go to work and be uh, Jason Bourne every episode. Jason Bourne um, with more of a spirit, I guess you could say. Uh, it really was such a fantastic opportunity, and I'm so very thankful for it. I'm very sad that we're not going to be coming back for another season, but um, that's the nature of the beast, guys. It really is. It doesn't really matter how fantastic a show is or isn't um we could go back through a list of really great shows that were canceled before you know they got a chance to really be seen but you know it's a decision that our our network decided that they were moving away from the 60 minute dramas and they want to move towards comedies and a really cool um side effect i guess you could say or or I don't know, evolution of Unnatural History is our executives at Cartoon Network had asked me to come in and pitch them a few comedy series. So I did, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So hopefully, formerly star of Unnatural History turned creator of a new comedy show for, an, of, uh, for Cartoon Network, excuse me. So that's the goal. That's the goal. So Unnatural History fans, thank you very, very much for your support. It's been awesome. I'm, I, I hope you enjoyed the stories as much as we had fun making them. It really was a blast. Something to add to that. If you guys haven't, go on Facebook and like the DVD release page. There's no plan for our hardcore fans to get Unnatural History past maybe your DVR, which they're not going to last there forever. So if you do want Unnatural History on DVD, pop over to our Facebook page, push the like button, and then we're going to take all of those likes and knock on our on our uh, studio and network doors and say, come on guys, there's 20,000, 40,000 people who want to buy this DVD. Let's make it happen for them. So if you guys want to see the DVD, you got to go like the Facebook uh, fan page. I will put the link down here. 2011 is supposed to be my year. Why do I say it's supposed to be? Because I feel like everything I've done in the past is leading up to this moment. Go figure. Um, I'm very excited about this year, not only on the acting front, which my goal on the acting front now is to find another really great lead on a series um, on a network, um, or, you know, continue to do movies. That's not a bad job either. Um, and then also really push my creative endeavors, my scripts. I've been writing since I was 15 years old now, and um, I've been acting since I was eight, so or, or since I was nine, so... You know, it's it's about at that time now. I've almost got ten years as a writer, and and I'm very excited to see the world kind of embrace the stories I've been telling, from comedies to drama to animation flicks, to uh, some high concept, uh, high profile projects. So, uh, I got a lot of really cool stories to share with you guys. And right now, it's just a matter of knocking on doors here and trying to find the best suitor to set these projects up at. Um, it's not an easy process getting a movie made in Hollywood. Um, unless you're, you know, the top dogs and can just make a phone call, is not very easy. You really have to, um, have to take a lot of meetings and be told no a lot. But, you know, frustration is is a side effect of that. But you kind of have to step back from your current situation and ask yourself: Is there anything else I want to do? Am I going to quit? And the answer for me, when it comes to where I'm at in my business, is well, there's not really much else I would rather do, and I'm definitely not going to quit. So I just have to keep moving forward. So that's the moral of 2011, guys. Keep moving forward on what you love.
a couple things I've been doing behind the camera, actually. I've been directing, as, as some of you know or some of you might not know. I directed episodes of Poor Paul in the past. If you haven't seen Poor Paul, there's a link at the bottom. You need to check it out. Um, I co-created the series with um, a really great group of people. Um, we produced 43 episodes. It's, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, so just check it out. That's all I'm going to say. Our goal for Poor Paul is to either fund a third season on the web or develop it into a TV show. There's another really cool thing I want you guys to check out. It's called Aquaponics, right? Aquaponics is this new, you know, entrepreneurial venture, you could say, that I am um, I am more than interested in. In fact, I'm making baby steps toward bringing it to reality on a, on a grand scale. Uh, check it out. It's a, you know, here's a link. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'm fascinated by it like a little, a little nerd is um, with his computers and his tools. I think it's such a cool um, technology and and the ability to kind of supply your own food and be independent of the system is, is a really cool thing to me. And, and it's something I think uh, is going to be very prominent in our future, guys. So believe you me, this is not going to be the first time you ever hear aquaponics. So um, that's basically it. That's that's what I've been doing. I've been auditioning. I've been working out, you know, trying to stay as in shape as possible. I've been uh, growing my hair out, my friends. It's uh, it's got to get a you know another inch or two longer before it does anything special. Right now, it's just uh, just looks like a mop on my head. But just in time for pilot season, it sh it should be ready. Uh, but there's also something I want to tell you guys. Last year, I um, a lot of you might not know this, but I'm a bit of a dancer, uh, and not you know not the formal way uh, or even trained in any matter like Kimberly or even my little brother's got some fancy dance moves at this point. But I created a new style of dance, and uh, I'm not sure where like polka or polka or or hip hop actually originated or who actually created it. But I created a new style of dance, and it is called kelping. That's right, K E L P I N G. What is kelping? Well, it's a mix between like what kelp does in the ocean with the tides of swaying back and the forth, mixed with those really fancy air blow-up dolls outside used car dealerships that are like and flying all around on their heads and their legs and everything. So instead of showing you now, I'm going to show you a clip from New Year's. Uh, my family and Kimberly were together, kind of keeping it low-key. We, uh, we had coconut fried chicken, which was pretty impressive. And uh, I decided to share kelping with my family for the first time. Kenneth, my older brother, is a big fan of it. As you can see in the background, he goes for the... And uh, and Kim, obviously, just laughs at me all the time because, well, you know, I like to make a fool of myself. What can I say? So, world, enjoy kelping. I will talk to you soon. Goodbye. Hey!